So this is an example of a frequently asked questions video that I'd like to put up once a month on my Patreon page. And a question I've been asked is if you guys will see uh, the special needs character, Ivar, right away in issue one. And the answer would be yes. He, he does appear in issue one, but it's in, in the form of a dream. And um, other than that, he'll appear and have a greater role um, after issue five, I believe. That's when the story calls for him to get involved. Um, other than that, it's just in the dream right now. Another question I've been asked is what horror means to me and what kind of horror you're going to see in this comic book. To me, there's a couple of types of horror that can be done, and one is fictional with zombies and things like that, like maybe Soren Guard, the devil character. Or uh, another type could be something that's very realistic, something about sociopaths or psychopaths, people who hurt children, um, animals, other people. And I think what I'm going to do with my story is sort of combine the two. There's going to be zombies, there's going to be, you know, a character like Sorengard who represents the devil. Um, and there's going to be other characters who represent sort of more realistic evil in the world, such as Asteria and um, even Arturo to some extent. Um, with Asteria, you see how she has some deep, deep-seated problems and it can cause her to sort of fly off the handle and just obliterate someone's face. With Arturo, uh, he was a good man, but he was sent over the edge. And once he was over the edge, he just started burning people alive. And to me, that's pretty horrific. Just as an aside, perhaps horror depends on from which perspective you're viewing it from and I want to get into that uh, in the comic as well. Another question I'm asked is if I'm going to produce an issue two and that seems like it's very likely to start in October uh, right when issue one is done and that should be done in the beginning or middle of October um, and you guys should probably get your hard copies by the middle or late October, and the digital version should go out in early October. Um, and issue two, just to give you a little preview, is going to go into the background of Asteria, and it's going to get very dark very quickly, and I really can't wait to uh, show you guys why she is the way she is. And um, that's sort of my motto with writing these things, is to go deeper and darker, with every issue and by that it's I kind of mean that I want to expand the storyline go deeper be more thought-provoking and darker of course is just to be to show you guys more horrific things more nightmarish things so that being said I hope you guys will go uh, deeper and darker with me on patreon thanks <laughs>